Hey guys, this is Mike at Hallucinations Creations, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up your DIY pneumatic, pneumatic mechanism. All right, so we're going to have our uh, side leaner peeper mechanism. Um, this is going to have a double acting cylinder, which has the two ports on there. It comes with our solenoid valve, which is a four-way five port. It does have a 12 volt low voltage coil, and it does come with a air regulator. Um, we do have an option also to include a Ammon Duo which is a programmable controller um, along with a sensor and you get the power adapter. So let's jump into it. So what, what, uh, um, how the system works is um, you have your air regulator, air comes in. Um, we do have a quick industrial connector on there. So that's you know generally where your airline would go. Now air flows through here and it automatically comes out of the A port. So the A port is gonna be, in this case, the retracted state, which is gonna be your top port of the cylinder. Once this valve gets actuated, there's a magnetic coil inside that moves the plunger and guides the air out of the B port, which then transfers the air to that port, which extends that cylinder out, causing the prop to jump out and scare people. Um, all of our fittings and everything on here are NPT thread, um, so it's all US standard. Comes with quarter inch airline, which all push connectors. So how the push connectors work is um, you pretty much take one hand and push it in and kind of pull it out. It's a compression fitting. Works really good. Super easy to hook up. Uh, if you want to ever remove it, what you do is use two hands. One hand on the airline, the other pushing on that black part and pull out. So now you got your airline out. If you do need to extend it, always put a clean cut on there just so it ensures no leaks. But this stuff works really good. This is all polyurethane tubing, super flexible that we offer. Um, we do sell all of our pneumatic parts individually also. So if you do need to add more airline or whatever, you know, you need a replacement solenoid valve, we do offer that also. So we have our A port going into the top because that's going to have the, the prop ideally be in the back position. And the B port goes to the bottom. So push it in and pull it out. Um, now, to get started, we always recommend um, to start with a lower PSI. So we're going to set our regulator to 50 PSI. Um, so once I plug this in, air is going to flow out of here and into the A port and into the cylinder. All right. So we'll take our gauge, turn the knob up to 50 PSI. Now, our regulators all have a locking system on there. So it won't ever go get out of calibration. So you put it in and push it. So that way it won't turn. So now your PSI is locked in at 50. Um, we also include two bronze speed or brass speed mufflers. So these quiet down the, uh, the air a bit um, along with controlling the speed of the prop. Uh, to get started, I always recommend pushing these in all the way. And then we test the valve manually. So on the side of the valve, there's a little chrome button. Um, if you push that, that bypasses the electric coil and it will activate the prop. So if you don't have no power hooked up yet or you want to test it, usually I'll do a test by this to set my speed in how I want it and then go into the controller and so forth. So we have 50 PSI coming in. Then we're going to adjust these. So let's hold this button down. And you can see it's barely moving, so I'm going to adjust this, pull that out, and it shoots out. Now this one controls the retract state, so we'll open that up and have it come back a little slow. Now the whole purpose is scaring people, so we're going to back this out a bit and have this thing come out pretty quick so we can get that instant startle scare. There you go. Bam, and it comes back slow, so I always like having it Go out fast, retract a little slow just so it doesn't put a lot of wear and tear on the mechanism and you really only need that initial scare. Um, if you're doing like a wall knocker or something, you want it to go pretty quick, you could adjust, you know, back that out a bit so it retracts a bit. But uh, for like a, a lifter or a mover or something, um, you know, you want that initial scare and then just like a slow, uh, steady reset. Now, once you got your speeds adjusted, you're going to need two pliers here. These are uh, angled needle nose pliers. You're going to want to hold this 
and then there's a little nut on here. You're gonna wanna lock that nut against that part. So we'll take this. And tighten that up. So now that won't move. And then same with this. Hold that. Now, after you build your prop or while you're testing it, you want it faster and slower, you can simply just adjust these. And if you notice the prop's still not moving out pretty quick, um, you might need more pressure. How it works is the, the pressure kind of controls the weight of the prop. So if it needs, you know, you got a lot of weight on this thing, it might need a little bit more than 50 PSI. But uh, always recommend to start with the lower PSI. You want to have your, your props run as low as possible just so they're not banging back and forth. Um, the more banging back and forth, the more wear and tear on the stuff. Um, you know, it, it'll start, you know, need a little more maintenance. We do, you know, always use bearings on our products, bushings, hind joints. So everything uh, can withstand the abuse, but um, to eliminate that, you always want to get it dialed in, you know, pretty good. Um, so we'll test it again. It comes out quick and retracts slow. So um, we do offer an option with uh, the controller setup if you do want to get it. We do pre-wire everything so it's ready to go. Comes with the power adapter and then a, a beam sensor. Or we could put a step pad or a hand trigger. Whatever you want to do. We usually do a beam sensor just so it's a direct line of fire. And it'll, um, you know, trigger right when somebody walks in front of it. So we'll get this plugged in. This will plug into a standard outlet. And your green light is your um, standby light. So it's right now... This controller is waiting to be triggered. If you had your sensor hooked up to it and something was in front of the sensor, it would start doing the show. So, um, you know, always you, you could just pull this out and then, uh, you know, plug your sensor in last after you program your prop. So let's go over the programming if you do get the controller and sensor combo. You're going to have a couple buttons on here. You're playing record, output one and output two. In this case, this only has one output controlling the solenoid valve, which is controlling your prop. Um, you do have an open output. Now these do put out 12 volts, so if you have a 12 volt light, ideally you can hook a light up to output number two and have a light strobe or stay on, you know, however you want to program it to add a little effect onto the prop. Some of our mechanisms do have two uh, movements, which ideally you'd have movement one, movement two, so you'd have two valves on the board. But in this case, we only have one. So how it works is you're going to hold your record button down. This is if you get your controller and sensor with us. There is a couple different options with the, out there. We do use the Amandua. We sold over 500 of these. They have no problems. They work super good, super easy to hook up and program. So you're going to hold this down until it turns red. Once that light turns red, that's acting like somebody walked in front of the beam sensor. So we're going to hold that down. Once it turns red... We're going to press one and that's going to send your prop coming out the side of the wall. And then also I'm going to put a delay on it. And what a delay is, it's just uh, um, letting it record with nothing activated. Just so, you know, if you have a home haunt, little kids aren't going in front of the sensor with their hands or, um, you know, you got a pro haunt. You don't want it to get re-triggered for the same group. So hold that down until it turns red. Boom, out the wall. You can let that go. Red is your record mode. And we'll let that come back. And we'll put a little delay on it just so your group can pass through. One, two, three, four, five. And hit your record. So now that just saved our entire scene or show per se. So to, to run that back and test out what we just did, we're just going to tap that one time. And that's going to turn into a yellow light. And that's going to play our scene, what we just showed, what we just recorded. So now it's doing that delay. And it turned back green for our standby mode. Now, if you want to do multiple, um, you know, movements in or out, if you've got a wall banger, you want it to have bang in. Um, you can, you know, head turns left and right. Just keep smashing that button down. So we'll make this thing come out twice and I'll show you how that is. Out, in, out, 
and able to go one more time. So now, just recording with nothing, and that's playing back. So I'll hit our record button, and now we have our scene that we just programmed. All right, so that pretty much sums up uh, how to hook up your DIY uh, mechanism from us. Um, just to go back, you have your air regulator, your solenoid valve, which is a four-way, five-port, 12-volt, and then your air cylinder. Now, this has two ports, so this is called a double-acting cylinder setup, which is mainly every product we offer is always a double-acting cylinder, so this is exactly how your product's going to be. Um, if you guys got any questions, you could reach out to us, hallucinationscreations at gmail.com, or check out our entire product line. We do got, um, you know, printable instructions on there and uh, all of our products ready to view with videos. That's hallucinationscreationsstore.com.